हेलो एवरीवन सो आज से हम स्टार्ट करने वाले हैं बीपीएससी बीपीएससी मेंस के जो प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस हैं सब्जेक्ट वाइज हम क्वेश्चंस को डिस्कस करेंगे अभी तक प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस जो हैं उनको सो so, आज का जो क्वेश्चन है दैट इज व्हाट इज मेंट बाय स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज व्हाट रोल स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज प्ले इन द इंडियन इकोनॉमी इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट ये सिक्सटी फिफ्थ मेंस का क्वेश्चन है दो इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट्स हैं क्वेश्चन के फर्स्ट है कि स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज़ का मतलब क्या है व्हाट इज़ मेंट बाय स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज और सेकंड पार्ट है दैट इज़ आस्किंग व्हाट इज़ द रोल ऑफ स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज इन टर्म्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज सो फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट हम इंट्रोडक्शन की बात करते हैं तो जैसा कि क्वेश्चन में ही एक्सप्लिसिटली दिया हुआ है दो तीन टर्म्स हैं जहाँ से हम इंट्रोडक्शन फ्रेम कर सकते हैं फर्स्ट है स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज सेकेंड है वट रोल स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज प्ले इन इंडियन इकोनॉमी सो so, अगर मैं बेसिकली बात करूं स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज की सो so यहां पर स्मॉल इंडस्ट्री का मतलब है एमएसएमई एमएसएमई का मतलब है माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस सो इंडियन कंटेक्स में हम उनको एमएसएमई बोलते हैं जबकि वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज में उन्हीं को एसएमई यानी स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस बोल दिया जाता है तो अगर एम एस यूनिट्स की बात करूं तो एम एस यूनिट्स हैं दे आर रेगुलेटेड एज पर एम एस एम ई एम एस एम ई डेवलपमेंट एक्ट डेवलपमेंट एक्ट ऑफ 2006 एम एस डेवलपमेंट एक्ट ऑफ 2006 सो so, ये एक एक्ट है जिसके हिसाब से एम एस है वो रेगुलेटेड है अब एम एस की अगर डेफिनेशन की बात करें तो रिसेंटली एम एस मिनिस्ट्री ने इसकी डेफिनेशन में कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट चेंजेस किए हैं फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट जो डेफिनेशन क्राइटेरिया है अब वो दो इश्यूज पर बेस्ड है फर्स्ट है इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड सेकंड है टर्नओवर टर्नओवर इन्वेस्टमेंट का मतलब है कि हम ऑलरेडी कितना अमाउंट इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं टर्न का मतलब है ओवरऑल रेवेन्यू है थ्रू आउट द ईयर वो कितना है सो so, दो क्राइटेरियाज के बेसिस पर एम एस यूनिट्स हैं उनको डिफ्रेंशिएट किया गया है एक और इम्पोर्टेंट चीज़ पहले एम एस यूनिट्स हैं उनको सर्विस बेस्ड एम एस यूनिट्स और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बेस्ड एम एस यूनिट्स के बेसिस पर क्लासीफाई किया जाता था लेकिन अब वो क्राइटेरिया नहीं है अब जो सर्विस बेस्ड एम एस यूनिट्स हैं और मैनुफैक्चरिंग बेस्ड एम एस यूनिट्स हैं दोनों का सेम ही क्राइटेरिया है और वो क्राइटेरिया किन एस्पेक्ट के ऊपर बेस्ड है वो क्राइटेरिया बेस्ड है ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड ऑन टर्नओवर। सो अगर मैं बात करूं माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस की मीडियम सो इनका क्राइटेरिया है एक पांच सारा अमाउंट है ये करोस में है दस पचास पचास ढाई सौ पचास ढाई सौ सो ये एम एस एम ई का यानी कि इन्वेस्टमेंट अगर एक करोड़ से कम है और टर्न ओवर अगर पाँच करोड़ से कम है सो दैट यूनिट विल बी माइक्रो यूनिट एंड इफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इज लेस देन टेन करोड़ एंड टर्न ओवर इज लेस देन फिफ्टी करोड़ दैट यूनिट विल बी टर्म एज स्मॉल एंटरप्राइज एंड इफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इज लेस देन फिफ्टी एंड टर्न ओवर इज लेस देन टू फिफ्टी करोड़ दैट यूनिट विल बी टर्म एज मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस सो माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस Now this classification is clearly based on two parameters that is investment and turnover and there is no difference as per new definition there is no difference between service based msme units and manufacturing based msme units so this is all about introduction in introduction we can briefly say that msme units are micro small and medium enterprises in western countries they are also referred as small and medium enterprises For development of MSME, there is MSME Development Act of 2006, and there is a specific ministry also, MSME Ministry. Recently, that ministry updated the definition, and as per new definition, the criteria is based on investment and turnover, and this is the criteria for micro. It is less than one and five. That is investment less than one crore and turnover less than five crore. For small, investment less than ten crore and turnover less than fifty crore, and so on. so this is all about introduction now coming to the second part because the question was having two aspect first part was asking what is meant by small industries so this is what it means 
second part is asking what is the significance of msme in terms of employment generation and in terms of exports so this is what we have to cover in second part one more thing whenever you are writing an answer please make sure your answer must have three parts introduction body and a conclusion now we have covered first part what was first part that what is meant by msme so msme definition that was the first part coming to introduction we have already covered that msme is micro small and medium enterprises now if you want to write more into introduction you can briefly say that uh, there are two major type of industries one is labor intensive so industries can be classified in this way one is labor intensive and second is capital intensive labor intensive means they are going to provide employment to a large number of people capital intensive means they require large amount of financial resources generally these industries are referred as large industries and these are referred as msme micro small and medium enterprises and then you can switch on to this second part that means body part in body there are two parts that is uh, what is meant by small and medium enterprises and second part is explicitly asking the significance significance in terms of export and in terms of employment so as far as significance of msme is concerned let's briefly discuss the important points first thing first in terms of employment msme sector is the second largest employer in our country in fact it provide employment to roughly 120 million people and it is second largest employer after agriculture sector so first and foremost as far as employment is concerned it is one of the biggest employer and uh, to be specific it is second biggest after agriculture sector so it provide employment to roughly 120 million people and second largest employer second largest after agriculture after agriculture okay now coming back to its contribution in exports since the question was explicitly asking about two parameters one was employment that means contribution of msme in employment and second part was contribution in exports so first we need to address that of course we are going to cover other dimensions also so that in future you can use this information while writing any answer regarding msme so in exports msme contribute roughly 45% of our exports that means roughly half of our exports are majorly driven by msme units only that is micro small and medium enterprises now in terms of gdp in terms of gdp that is in our overall gdp contribution the contribution is roughly 30% that means roughly 30% of our gdp is from msme sector now out of this 30% 24% is from service based msme service based msme and roughly 6% is from manufacturing based msme it must be noted that there is a huge difference huge difference in terms of contribution of service based msme and in terms of manufacturing based msme in fact if you notice is closely the service based msme units are way way ahead than manufacturing based msme and that is why you would notice this difference at top level as well for example if i talk about the contribution of service sector in our uh, indian gdp it is roughly 55% and the contribution of secondary sector that is manufacturing sector is roughly 29% whereas the contribution of primary sector is roughly 16% as far as bihar economy is concerned this difference is even more stark 
For example, in case of Bihar, the contribution of tertiary sector is roughly 60 percent, contribution of secondary sector is roughly 18 percent and contribution of primary sector is roughly 21 percent. One more thing, the target of MSME ministry is to increase this contribution to 50 percent, 50 percent by 2025, 2025. Next important thing is that MSME sector will provide opportunities for rural development because if we talk about overall MSM units, roughly, roughly 60 percent are from rural India. That means roughly 60 percent of our MSM units are situated in rural India where majority of our population resides. For example, uh, if I talk about 2011 census, roughly 69 percent of population of India reside in rural areas and roughly 89 percent population of Bihar reside in rural areas. So as far as rural India is concerned, roughly 60 percent of our MSM units are situated in rural areas. So that means they will help in rural development, they will help in employment generation which will lead to decentralized development. Next, if we talk about women owned MSME, women owned so roughly 20 percent of them, roughly 20 percent of them are owned by women. That means it will lead to women empowerment and it will also provide support to women entrepreneurs. So MSME sector also provides support to entrepreneurs. It will also promote innovation, also promote innovation since it will provide employment opportunities so people will get salaries and they will also have access to bank accounts so kind of it will also lead to financial inclusion financial inclusion now one more aspect if we talk about Bihar specific dimension roughly 90 percent of industries in Bihar are MSME that means large scale industries are very limited in Bihar and even after bifurcation this scenario is even more complicated. That means significant number of large scale industries are now part of newly formed Jharkhand. So previously they were part of uh, Bihar but now they are part of newly formed Jharkhand. That means in Bihar majority of industries are of micro, small and medium category and that is why I am saying that 90 percent of industries in Bihar. 90 percent industries in Bihar are in MSME category. Now why MSME is so significant for Bihar because as we have discussed that MSME industries are labor intensive. Labor intensive means they are going to provide employment to large number of people and Bihar is having significant amount of labor, surplus labor. So that will help in utilization of the surplus labor. or in technical sense, we can say that it will help in utilization of demographic dividend. One more term is there that is it will help in utilization of demographic dividend. Now what exactly is demographic dividend? Demographic dividend. Demographic dividend in simplest sense it means the economic benefit from our young population or from our working age population. Since our population is young, it will be in working age and because of that, there will be economic benefit to our country and that economic benefit is known as demographic dividend. Since Bihar is having significant amount of population and the population is also growing at a rapid pace because total fertility rate in Bihar is quite high even as of now. For example, as per National Family Health Survey 5, National Family Health Survey 5, the TFR that is total fertility rate in India is 2.0 and in case of Bihar it is 3.0. That means the population of Bihar is growing at a very rapid pace and therefore our young working age population will keep on rising. So that is why this MSME sector will help in utilization of this young population. So this was the entire significance. This was the entire significance. Now since it, it will provide employment, so we can address other issues as, as well. For example, 
it will provide employment therefore it will indirectly help in reduction of poverty it will provide employment therefore it will also lead to better living standards it will provide employment therefore people will have income therefore it will lead to economic growth as well so these dimensions are added dimensions but majorly this is enough for your mains answer as far as msme sector is concerned now coming to a uh, third part of the question so we have covered introduction in introduction we can start from industry that there are majorly two type of industries one is labor intensive second is capital intensive capital intensive are those industries which require high amount of capital in case of bihar this portion is very less and this portion is very high that is roughly 90% are in msme category only so we have covered introduction then we have covered the significance significance part as far as export is concerned and as far as employment is concerned we have already covered the definition and significance now coming back to conclusion part so for conclusion part a few important things that you need to keep in mind there are certain important parameters or certain important themes you can use whenever you are framing a conclusion for your economics answer as far as upsc or bpsc is concerned few important terms are for example sustainable development goal second inclusive growth inclusive growth third demographic dividend demographic dividend fourth 5 trillion economy 5 trillion economy fifth dpsp related provisions so these are some of the important uh, terms which you can use in your conclusion for example in this case we can specify that um, in case of bihar since the question is not explicitly asking bihar dimension but uh, this answer is going to be for bpsc so you can add that dimension that bihar is having significant demographic dividend and for that demographic dividend we need to develop those industries which are labor intensive and these industries are msme industries therefore they can play a vital role in utilization of demographic dividend and this will lead to employment generation which will reduce poverty which will also reduce inequality so which will help in inclusive growth and this inclusive growth will further lead to economic growth and that economic growth will lead to achievement of our target of 5 trillion economy so this is how you can interconnect things apart from that you can also add few dimensions related to for example sdg the sdg sdg one is related to poverty second is related to hunger third is health education so gender equality gender equality for example msme units are roughly 20% of msme units or roughly 1/5 of msme units are owned by women so of course it will lead to women empowerment it will also lead to gender equality so that is how you can conclude your answer in following way so that was all for this question thank you